But it's the families that are really feeling the impact of all of this and not just UAW members on the picket lines. Some auto workers who've been displaced in the industry say the latest negotiations could bring them back home. As the UAW strike against the big three enters another week, some union leaders and workers are feeling hopeful. The fact that they didn't take out another facility means that they're making progress at the table. And the fact that they're going to put battery facilities in their agreement is important. And it could lead to more opportunities for workers like Robert Morales. He used to work at the Lordstown Assembly Plant. My plant closed in 2019. And at that time, the, there were some decisions that had to be made. Uh, and we were hoping that we would get product back in our Lordstown facility. It didn't happen that way. Since then, he says he makes the two and a half hour drive to Toledo Propulsion Systems each week so he can have a job and still see his family. It's a little sacrifice on my end with, with you know, driving time and, and lack of sleep, but you know, we do those things when necessary. And he's not the only one. Local 14 President Tony Toddy says they have around 250 workers from the former Lordstown plant working in Toledo. With the transition to more EVs to the road and UAW President Sean Fain's announcement that GM agreed to add battery plants to the union's master agreement, there's hope they could find work back home. It could potentially impact them all. I mean, if somebody wanted to transfer to that, hopefully we'll get that in the agreement that there are provisions that they could transfer to that if there are openings at the battery facility. So now they wait until an agreement is official. Morales says auto workers sacrificed a lot the last few times they've been at the bargaining table. This time, he says they deserve to get those things back. As they say, no one really wins in a strike, but we need, it's necessary that we do that to try to get what we feel is, is just and what's, what's uh, something that is due to us. Local 14 workers are not on strike right now, but upwards of 200 are off the job because of shutdowns around the country. But Morales says they have been stopping by the Jeep plant and spending some time on the picket lines with the UAW members who are on strike.